Hey everyone, I'm Steve. Welcome back to Kettlehaven Ranch. Today we're in the wood shop, gonna play with the CNC machine and make some hive entrance feeders that utilize a mason jar uh, for feeding our bees. That's coming up and we're gonna head over to the CNC and get started. The entrance feeder is a two part piece. I'm gonna start with the bottom. The bottom is 5.25 by 6.5 inches and that is to make room for my mounting, which I did screw up, I'll admit. I screwed up here. I should have been at six inches on the width, not 5.25. And I probably should have been uh, right at seven inches on the height. That would make uh, flipping things over all line up. Luckily, with this cut on the bottom piece, everything's on one side. It's a one-sided cut. We're gonna start out doing the outline of the bottom first. Okay, I forgot to mention that I am using three quarter inch pine, real cheap wood, soft wood, and I'm using a quarter inch end mill uh, to do the cutting. So that finishes that first cut. The second cut that I like to do is I make a step up for the bees so they don't have this big ledge they have to get through. They can just come in low and step right in and gives them plenty of room. We don't have to readjust our setting here of our XYZ because we're not moving the piece. So we're ready to rock and roll. Here we go. Always remember to turn on your router before you hit start. So i like to point out that you saw it had to go through just basically cutting air all the way down to this level of the previous cut. And I could have taken and lowered the top of the workpiece to that level and made a quicker cut, but I wanted to have this edge smooth and this edge smooth. And if I screwed up at all, or the CNC screwed up at all, it would have tried to cut this whole depth right, that's over half an inch, at one cut. And uh, that would have been bad. So letting it run a little bit so that it gets down. And you heard it hitting, occasionally it would hit here, trying to smooth out. Um, this is a safe way to do it. So now we have a step up for the bees. Now I'm gonna take and I'm gonna cut out this edge here, or this area on both sides. A big cut here, and that's to get it so that it'll slide into the beehive entrance. And here we go. And that finishes that tool path. So now we've cut it down just enough that it'll slide into the entrance of the hive. The bees can come out, they can step up on this step, up further in, step up again to get underneath where the top piece is gonna sit on top here with the jar and the feed. 
I'll reset and we'll do the top piece. Coming up. I've got the top piece, top side up mounted, and we've gone ahead and zeroed it. So now what I'm gonna do first is cut the base for the cap of the mason jar when it sits in it. We're gonna cut that one first. Two things I'd like to note here. Uh, the first thing you saw it ramping. So I've uh, enabled the ramp feature here. Instead of it just plunging right into the full depth of the cut, it goes ahead and ramps its way down to start uh, on each level. So that's sort of nice there. Now the other thing you see, if we go ahead and cut the contour out here of this inner hole, we end up with a problem. And the problem is this center disc is gonna be free. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my screwdriver and I'm gonna take a nice screw and put it right in the center. And I'm gonna run that down. That'll anchor that piece and keep it from coming loose and causing a problem during the cut. Now I should note that that screw is in the very center because you don't wanna hit it. And that gives a little more strength to my tabs that I put in here, uh, which will knock out at the end. Just a little bit of assurance to keep that from coming apart, because that's the full depth, three quarters of an inch. If that comes loose, if the tabs break, we're in trouble. That's it for this side. I have to stop the camera now, uh, move it, and flip the whole piece over. Now we are set up on the bottom side pocket. Ready to cut that, that's the final cut of this piece. Let's see how we do. And there we go, that was a quick cut. It's just enough to give the bees a little bit of head space to get in there and get through their feed. Now we're gonna take it all apart and throw it together real quick. Well, I didn't have that much to do, so I just did it real quick off camera. You guys all know how to glue and tack things together. But that is your finished feeder. So the mason jar goes in like that. This slides into the entrance of the hive. The bees go right in, right in, and take the syrup. It's leaking. <laughs> take the syrup right out. From inside, they got enough headspace to get through comfortably, and it works fairly well. Once again, I would not use this in the summer or even in the late spring because it is right at the entrance, and if you have hornets, if you have wasps, they're going to start fighting and uh, trying to get to that feed. The nice thing about this is it's quick and easy. You don't have to open up the hive, which is probably a pretty good idea for right now at this time of year with our temperatures. But also, you can see from the distance where you're on your feed. If they're taking it, if they're out of it, if you need to replace it. And replacing is real simple. Just grab your next bottle full, switch the cap on it, make sure you have the perforated cap, and in it goes, and you're feeding. If you like our stuff, please subscribe, hit the like button, and ring the notification, share with friends, all that great stuff. And stay safe, healthy, take care. Thank you.